Hello, welcome to the most interesting topic of calculation of ketosis. Here we are trying to calculate ketosis and we will be using this formula. And this formula is of sample excess ketosis. And as you see, this is a very extensive formula and we have to deal with this whole formula one piece at a time. So what is happening over here is in this formula as you read n is sample size how many values are there in the sample so here we have return of 10 stocks so our sample size is 10 or the value of n is 10 here right so we have written that and xi for us means the various values of returns right so x1 would mean 25.78, x2 would mean 15.05, and so on. x10 would mean 17.25. There are two negative values also. In the seventh year, uh, sorry, the sixth value is negative minus 35.75. And the eighth, ninth value is minus 0.72. So here x bar is average of the returns and s stands for standard deviation of this sample and here we have to make a raise to power of it raise to power 4 minus this 3 minus 3 into n minus 1 raised to power 2 divided by n minus 2 into n minus 3 this we have also to do so we are starting from here x we are given we have to compute x bar that is the mean return so first of all we are computing the mean return and equal to i go to formulas more function statistical function average and i am picking up these 10 stock returns and here we have this average so average is 8.908 average return of all the stocks for 10 years now we can compute here return which is given here which is our x minus x bar which is our this value mean return right so this is what we are doing here but remember already we have talked about that we want c15 c15 is the cell where average return or the mean return is given and we want this cell to be the absolute reference so i click within this and press f4 on the keyboard and this becomes a dollar c dollar 15 which means it has become absolute reference absolute reference means for all the values of return average return will retain remain the same it is absolute value and it stays in cell c15 so i click check mark here we got the x minus x bar for the first value and then I hover over the to the bottom right of the cell and then drag these values till end here. Right. Yeah. So these are x minus x bar values. But we don't want these values. We want these values and then we want raised to power 4. So equal to this value which is in cell b4 raised to power in excess is computed through the caret sign caret sign and raised to power 4 so i will click enter here right so this is the value we got mean 
x minus x bar raised to power 4. This is the value that we are getting. And then I hover over to bottom right of the cell and drag down these values. So we have computed x minus x bar raised to power 4. But we need the sum of it as we see in the formula here. We need the sum of these values. So sum of these values we will write here in this cell equal to and then we will type the we will go to the sum function and here we will insert the sum function. S U M sum function, right? If we don't see a sum function here, we can insert function, type S U M sum, click go and then we got some here and click OK. And is it is asking for you want some of the which numbers we want some of these numbers. So what we are doing right now is that x minus x bar return minus a mean return raised to power 4 is there and we are summing, summing up these values. We are doing the sum of these values. And I click this arrow button and this OK and here we get this sum which is something like 4,165,210.584. Now we need this value s raised to power 4. s is what as a standard deviation so before doing s raised to power 4 we need the value of s right we need standard deviation so let us go and find the standard deviation insert function type standard and click go and we get this function standard deviation stdev standard deviation and it is asking us standard deviation of which numbers i will take the standard deviation of the sample stock returns and here we go we get the standard deviation which turns out to be 18 which is 18.12 approximately now, if you want to reduce the decimal points, as I said earlier, we can reduce it here. Okay. But for the time being, we are not going there, right? So, S raised to power 4 equal to this is S and its raised to power would be through caret sign on the keyboard. Shift 6 gives you caret sign and then 4 and then click enter here. This is the S raised to power 4, right? Which is 107,803.7818. Now what we need to do is, here we have this sum and we have to divide it by S4. So in this part of the formula. So we will do that thing here. We will do sum, which is here, divided by S raised to power 4, which is here. Click check, enter here, and we get this thing. Sum divided by S raised to power 4 is 38.63696168. So here. Now we are close to calculation of the ketosis. So ketosis is this number which we just calculated sum of these x minus x bar raised to power 4 sum of this divided by s raised to power 4. So this number is here 38.6. 369 
and we have to times it by this number times multiplied by this number and this number is given here so we will do what we will do equal to sign this number times and then this number and click enter and here we go excellent so we have got the value of ketosis which is approximately 8.43 but as we know we want to compute sample excess ketosis so it means we have to deduct this part also 3 into n minus 1 raised to power 2 divided by n minus 2 into n minus 3. So this number is here already computed, right? So before starting these calculations, I computed these numbers. And what we will do over here is ketosis minus this number which is in cell C20. So I will type C20 here and then I click enter here. Here we go. Excellent. Sample excess ketosis turns out to be a fairly high value of 4.09338443. And finally, we will reduce its decimals. Home tab and decrease decimal points and here we go the sample excess ketosis comes out to be 4.09 so this series is a lactocurotic series because if sample excess ketosis is positive then it means that this series is a lactocurotic ketosis series. Thank you.